Hey, Right Riders, Keith Wheeler here back with another video for you. And today we're going to be talking about the best way that I know to really solidify with your browsing customer to buy your book. And yes, book descriptions are great, but I'm talking about A plus content. So if you're on Amazon and you're looking up a book and you might see the section that says from the publisher, that's your A plus content. And that's the best way for your browsing customer to see more of your interior more reasons why and, and to get them engaged in buying your book. In this video, I'm going to actually show you how to create some A plus content. So let me flip the screen around and we're going to get started. Well, here we are on KDP. So if we're going to create A plus content, the first place we need to go is to kdp.amazon.com. And I've logged in. And if you go over here to marketing, you click on that. We're going to scroll down and this is where you can get to your author central. Amazon ads, but right here says a plus content. So the first thing I want to do is select my marketplace. Now I will say, if you want to learn more about the guidelines and everything else about a plus content, you can just click in here and, and get more information, some examples, but, uh, I want to keep this video as short as possible and get to the, to actually creating of it. So we're going to go to the marketplace. Now my main marketplace is amazon.com but you can select any of these as a marketplace and, and add different A plus content depending on the marketplace. So you really have it tailor made to that particular audience for that country, especially if in, it's in a country where they speak a different language. So I'm gonna go to amazon.com, manage A plus content, and then we're gonna go here and we're gonna click on start creating A plus content. Now I'm gonna create A plus content for one of my puzzle books uh, just as, as an example, you're going to give it a content name. So I'm just going to call it uh, softball puzzle books. This is really just for your benefit. Nobody else sees it. Um, and then we're going to go to right here and add modules. So each of the different sections that you see in a plus content is a different module. So before we do this, let me show you a plus content in action. So you'll see, it'll say from the publisher and all of this is a plus content. Okay. So it, it's, again, it's, it's more visuals to draw in your customer. So instead of them just reading the description, they can see more of the uh, interior or whatever you want them to see. It's just more promotional things that you can put there. And especially since now with Amazon KDP, it seems like the look inside feature isn't working all the time. This is a great way to really make your book stand out. So we'll go back over to our Amazon, our KDP, and we're going to add a module. Now you're allowed to have, I think, uh, up to maybe five. I usually do two or three. I don't want to do too much because I don't want to overwhelm the customer. Uh, one of the ones I use all the time is this standard image with light text overlay, or you can just do standard image with header. Um, but we'll just click on this and we're going to add a background image. So when we click on it, it's going to tell you, that our image needs to be 970 pixels by 300 pixels. Well, I don't have that. So I'm gonna head on over to our good friends, Canva. We're gonna to go to create a design. Now I'm on the free plan, so you don't have to pay for pro if you don't want to. Create a design, we're gonna to go to custom size. We're gonna make sure this says pixels and we're gonna do 970 by 300, create design. Now over here on the left hand side, there, there's gonna be some templates that you can go through. Now make sure that if you don't have pro, you keep an eye on these little crowns because that means that there's elements in there that are going to cost you money. Now I want for this to be uh, pretty simple. I I'm just going to basically put some text on there. So I like, I like this actually. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Oh, we'll go with that one. All right. So it goes in there. Obviously I'm going to change the text. That's pretty simple. Obviously I'm doing this fast just to keep the video at a reasonable length, but you know, you can feel free to add, elements in there so you can upload your own images and add those into it uh, let's see what some of the elements they have here are and some are going to cost money you know they got the little pro on it some don't so i can just click in here and maybe i want to look for a softball so maybe i just want to do something like this just put a bat in there i can add it here rotate it a little bit i can either put it completely on screen or maybe i want it to go off screen Let's just put it right there, okay? And let's see what else we got. All right, well, most of these are gonna cost money, but you can go to Creative Fabrica and, and get images. And again, you can upload them, put them in here. But again, I wanna make this fast. 
so that way we can get to the, the important part. So, all right, so we've got this. Let's say this is what we want it to look like. We're gonna go up to share, we're gonna go download. We're gonna download it as a PNG, download it. All right, so I'm done with that. I'm just gonna close that. I'm gonna go over to my KDP and click on here. Or if you just wanna drag and drop it, you can do that. Now, it, you need to put in some keywords. Well, even if Amazon doesn't use these keywords for SEO, Google definitely does. So you want to put in some keywords. So um, we'll do Okay, there we go. Click add. Now if I don't put text here, I can put text here if I want to. If I don't, I can hit preview and you'll see it's it just shows up just that. Okay, but if I put if I wanted to put text there, I absolutely could. I'm going to go back to the editor. Okay? So there we go. That's that's one module already done. So we're going to add another module. And this one, I want to do something a bit different. I want to do something that's going to have a, a decent size image on it. So again, it's going to be 970 by 600. Now I can go over to Canva, but I actually want my image. I want something that's going to show it kind of in the wild, like it like it's actually being used. So I'm going to head on over to my friends at BookBrush. So BookBrush does have a free option. Uh, but you can, and I'll include a link to Canva and book brush and all that down in the description. Uh, I'm going to go to community templates, instant mockups. Now I'm going to just pick one of these mockups that I want to do. Now, obviously this is a puzzle book, so I'm not going to pick anything that has um, any kind of like digital image in here because I don't want them to think that it's, it's available on ebook cause it's not. And um, I actually like this very first one, but you can actually go in here and you can uh, filter on type, uh, especially free uh, you can filter on the size, whether you want a horizontal, vertical or square. Um, if you're looking for specific keywords, but it just so happened that this one right here is one I like. Uh, I like the backdrop on it, the little shadow. And I like that it's got, you know, for a puzzle book, it's going to have, uh, you know, glasses and things like that. So people are, you know, they're thinking they're, they're doing something uh, that, yeah, that draws that attention. So, we're going to click on that one. But again, there, there's a lot more options. And, and I did have the 3D books option selected. So when you do it, it think of Book Rush as Canva for authors. It's all the cool things that you can do in Canva, but it's specifically geared towards people who are trying to sell books. Okay, so again, I, I've got a few more images that I can choose from. But again, I'm going to go with this one. And I need to drag or drop um, my cover image. So I actually have my cover image in a different folder over here off screen. So I'm going to do it for book one right there. Now let's say you don't, you don't just want one. Maybe you don't know which one you want. You can actually select a couple of these. So I can, I've got this one selected. Maybe I want to do this one, maybe this one. I don't want to do too many cause it's just going to add to, to how long it takes to download. But, uh, yeah, let's just go with those. I think those are good. I don't want something that's going to make it look like it's super thick either because it's it's not. Um, here, maybe we'll do this one, okay? And then once I've chosen them, I'm just gonna convert, click download image. And what that did is that downloaded it into my uh, downloads folder and it created a zip file. I just extracted the zip file and I'm gonna show you some of the images I got. Again, I just did four of them. So there we go. I think they all turned out really nice. So let's pick one. And now we're gonna head on over to Canva. And now we're going to turn it into one of those modules. So um, I believe the one we wanted was 970 by 600. Let's just add, go down here and we'll just add our own background. A lot of background. Let's pick uh, maybe, maybe something wood textured. We'll do that. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to upload our images, which I've already done. Since we're doing that wood background, I really don't want it to stand out against this wood it's going to be contrasting so let's go with something a little different whatever feels right for you whatever you think looks well i will tell you i don't like this background is a bit too dark so we're going to go over here and take down the transparency a little bit again it's just affecting the transparency of the background not the actual images and this way they pop a little bit more okay all right that looks good again we're going to go to share Scroll down to download, make sure it's PNG, download, and then we're going to head on over to Amazon again. We're going to go to 
that image that we had open. And, and I try not to reuse the same keywords because I mean, why, why not use as much uh, opportunity as you can to, to throw in additional keywords? You know, fun, exciting book for on the go. Click add. Now the last module that I wanted to add is absolutely one of my favorites. And again, I, I can add a header, I can add a body to this particular one that I picked if I want, but if not, I can leave it blank. Let's look at the preview. Let's see how our, from the publisher section is starting to look. There we go, we got that and that, looks good. All right, so the last thing I wanna do is, like I said, one of my favorites, and it's actually one of the, one of the first ones that you'll see. So click add module. It's this one right here, this comparison chart. So this comparison chart allows you to compare up to five different items. And the great part is, is you put the titles in the ASIN, so it's actually clickable. So if you have a series, like my puzzle book series or a children's book series or whatever, they can click on the different images and it will bring them to that landing page on Amazon. So let's say they find one of your books in this case, let's say they find book, you know, volume one, and maybe they're, they're not interested in that one, but they see another one that they, that they want. So instead of them not seeing what they want and just leaving and possibly getting a competitor's book, now you're showing them other options that you have all within your page. So they never leave and they never go to a competitor. So uh, we're going to do uh, all the different books, uh, right? I'm just going to do five. This, this series actually has 10 or 20. So these are 150 by 300. So again, we're going to go over here to Canva. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of cheat and I'm actually going to duplicate this page four more times. And then I'm just going to go on each one of these and you'll see why in a second. So this is page two. It says right there. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to bring in the image for, and the reason why I do that is so I can make sure it's covering the exact same spot. Okay, so there's book two. All right, so now that these are all done, we're gonna go to share, scroll down to download. You know the drill. And so we were gonna head back over to our KDP and we're just gonna add them into each of these. So click on the first one. And then here you're gonna put the titles for each of the books, the ASINs. You can decide if you wanna highlight the columns. Now, if you do, you uh, I would do like every other column or something like that. And then if you want, you can use some comparison matrices. So I can go in here and for example, my puzzle book, I can list um, some, some things that they have. And so like on this one, I could say word search, and then I can go through and click the ones that have word searches. So let's say this one has it, this one, I can add another one, Sudoku. So maybe this one has it, this one, this one and you can add up to 10 different matrix so um, and again you'll just put in the title and the ASIN which you can find right there on your KDP dashboard and it will go over here real quick click on the preview and this is what it will look like you've got that and then you'll have these and as you can see here's the matrix these all right so let me go and add in the title and the ASINs real quick this is your ASIN so right here, so if you had an ebook, which obviously this is a, an activity book, so there's no ebook for it, but that's where your ASIN will be, is right here. And so I'm gonna go in and I actually create an Excel spreadsheet where I have the ASIN and the titles for each of the books. It makes it a lot easier to copy and paste that over. So uh, now I'm gonna head back on over to uh, marketing and the A plus content, and I'm gonna update all that. So now that I'm here on my manager, this is the softball puzzle books that I created. I'm gonna scroll down. And I'm going to add in the information for the title and the ASIN. As you can see, these are required. And I'm going to highlight these two columns to be highlighted. And let's see how that looks. Go to preview. And as you can see, these columns are highlighted a little bit. There we go. So when the browsing customer scrolls down, they see this, you know, and they see that, oh, this one's got word searches in it. I love word searches. And this is the book they're on. Then obviously they can buy it. But let's say they also want to get volume four. They can click on this and it will bring them to the sales page of this particular book here on Amazon. So everything looks good to me. So I'm just going to go to apply ASINs. So then you go in here and you actually add the ASINs uh, that you want to add to this particular book. So, so there we go. I select that. It brings up the book. I click on it. 
there's the book and is it eligible yes and then I just will click apply content but I'm actually going to put this on all of the books that are in there and so I'll just add all the ASINs and again just click apply content it'll give me an actual pop-up that says that it's been applied and when you're all done you go to review and submit you can look at it one last time make sure everything looks the way you want it to and then you're going to click submit for approval you can actually look right here and see how it's going to look on mobile and this is how it's going to look on mobile obviously you know that they'll have to scroll to see the all the other books but uh but other than that it looks good and then i'll just go in and click submit for approval now i'm actually not going to select submit for this one just yet because i do want to add it to the other books but uh but yeah that's how you would do it and then it'll go to kdp for them to review and it could take up to eight days for them to review it and publish it live on amazon well there you go that's how you create and add a plus content i hope i helped you understand more about a plus content and show you exactly how easy it is to create now, if you liked this video, please click that thumbs up button. It lets YouTube know that this is a good video to share with more people. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel and click that bell notification so you get alerted every time I put out new videos, just like this one. But don't let the learning stop here. If you're really interested in selling more books, well, then you want to check out this video right here. But if you've already seen that video or maybe you're not ready for it yet, YouTube says that this video has got your name written all over it. I'll catch you inside one of these videos and remember, to write right.